here. Let's start with the shoulder, the right shoulder. Yes. Going. Okay, let's go to the left shoulder. I can only see Safas working, the others are not. Yeah, finally. Okay. Very good. All right. Now we stretch up and we go to the side. And then we go back. Go to the left side. Go back. Right side. Go back. Left side. Let's do it six times. One, two, one from the right side and one from the left side. Four, five, and six. Excellent. Okay, now we're gonna do a, a round word circle. So we go down, keep your racket with you. We go down, and we go up, go to the right, like we do a full circle. And we go back, a big circle. Down, left, up, right. Okay. Yes, do it. Keep your elbows straight and your knees straight as well. Okay, going, going, going. All right, now let's change the side. Let's go to the other side. Switch side. Come on, come on, come on, go up. Very good. Excellent. Well done. Okay. Now let's put the right back. So now we have another exercise. So I want you to open your feet like this. Open. And more, 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 more. Okay. Come on, kid, guys. And with a hand. Go to to the opposite leg, like you're gonna use your right hand to the left foot. Right to the left, left hand to the right foot. Good job, okay. Keegan. Here. Very nice. And Keep your knees straight, Keegan. Don't bend. Don't, don't bend, bend your knees. Your knee. Yeah. Don't bend your elbow. Good job, Keegan. Here. Good job, Safa. Okay, well, Safa is opposite. And to foot, you yeah. need to cross, cross in front of you. Right hand to left foot, left foot to right hand, left hand to right foot, right foot to left hand. So you need to cross. Yes, Safa. Great job. Keegan, go up. Don't stay there. Go up. Yeah. Don't stay there. Go up. Yes. Keep going. Keep good doing, job, Paul and James. Very good. Keep doing. Here and here. Okay. Stop. Now, um, no. we go two hands. Okay. We go to the middle. But we go one in front, one in the middle, one to the back. Okay. And don't bend your knees, okay? One, front, one, middle, one to the back, okay? Let's go. One, middle, in front, 
middle, back, front, middle, back, front, middle, and back. Try to touch the floor. Middle, uh, front, middle, and back. Okay? Always go up, Keegan. Here. Yeah. And here. Always go up. Touch and go up. Touch. And go Good up. job, Keegan. Touch and go up. Okay, Don't bend your knees, kicks. Here, come on. Excellent. Go up, kicks. Last one. Well done. Put your, put your hands in your shoulders. Yeah, just like this. Okay. And we do squat. One, two, three, come on, four, five, six, seven, eight, come on, stop, stop, nine, and ten. Good job, Keegan. You did perfect squat. Very good. Very good. Okay, now we are going to hop and then we do squat like usual. We jump, hop, 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 and then squat. One, and we go back. Hop, hop, hop. When you do squat, keep your hands in your shoulders. Okay, here and then hands, shoulders, and squat. Hop, hop, squat. Hop, 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 squat. Oh, Good oh, job, oh. Keegan. Very nice squatting. Squat. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Squat. Oh, oh. Squat. Last one. And squat. Good. Excellent. Okay. Now we're going to add another thing. So we hop, squat, and then we jump very high. Okay. The maximum. Okay. So we hop. Squat and we jump. Okay, we need more space. We uh, Safa and her brother. Get ready. Wait for me. Wait, wait. Let's start together. Okay, let's hop. Hop, 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 hop. Squat and jump. Come again. Come yeah, Safa Kigan. Squat, jump. Safa brother. Yes, hop, great hop, hop. jump. Squat, jump. Again, hop, hop. Squat and jump. And again. Squat and jump. Last one. Squat and jump. Very good. We're gonna do it like we did the last time, if you remember. Okay, so we open our feet a little bit. And then, with the right, with the right foot only, we go right, front, and back. We did that last time, okay? Yeah, we go right, then we go in front, we go to the back, okay? Let's start, come on, right, in front, and back. Again, go right, front, and back, you do it. Right, front, and back. And so, and again. Right, front, and back. Come on. Yeah, open your feet, Safa, watch. Right, front, and back. Okay. So, wow. Again. again, right, front, Back. Very good. Now let's do it uh, faster, okay? We're gonna do it faster than before. Let's go. Right, front, and back. 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 Come on. Right, front, and back. Okay, now, Guys, 
Oh, oh. Look. We're going to hop now. Hop, hop, hop. Okay. And we do the same thing. Right in front and back. Okay. So we're going to jump. Jump right. Jump front. Jump back. Right. Front. Back. Come on. Right. Front. Back. Keep going. Here. Okay. I'm going to count. We're going to do it. Ten times. Let's go. One. And two. Come on. Right. Front. Back. Three. Right. Front. And back. Four. Right. Front. Back. Five. Right. Front. Back. Six. Right. Front. Back. Seven. Right. Front. Back. Eight. Right. Front, back, nine. Last one. Good. Very good. Now we do the same thing, but with the left leg. Let's continue. Left leg. We go to the left, front, and back. Okay. Let's go. Left, front, and back. Excellent. Keep doing. Yes. Left, front. And back. Okay, one more. Left, front, back. Come on. Left, front, back. Last one. Left, front, and back. Okay, now we're gonna hop. Jump, jump. Come on. Hop. Okay, let's go. Left, front, and back. Come on. Yes, left, front, and back. Two. Come on. Three. Keep doing. Four. Five. Keep doing. Six. Excellent, Keegan. Seven. Come on. Eight. Nine. Beautiful. And 10. Well done. Okay. Now we are going to jump over. For example, I'm going to jump over the teddy. But with the right leg, I'm going to jump to the left side. Okay. So cross it all the time. Okay. You cross and you stop with one leg only. And you go back. And then you go to with the left leg. Cross it. You go back. Yes. 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 Excellent. Here. You go back. All right. Let's go to the left. You go back. I will do it so you can see better. Here. Cross. Then you go back. And again. Cross. Then you go back. Okay. Let's do it ten times. Come on. Right. One, to the left, two, again, three, four, do it, five, six, come on, four more, seven, Eight, two more. Nine. And ten. Well done. We are going to jump over the teddy or the water bottle. Okay. With all, we still keep it with one leg only. So from the left side, I jump to the other side and I keep the other leg up. Okay. Here and and I go back, just like this. Safa and her brother can practice to kick on that position, so you can use that against yeah. each other. Come on. Kick them, <laughs> like a rapid kick. Jump over the teddy with one leg. Keep doing. Tammy, do it. you waste so much time putting 20,000 different names instead of doing the lesson. Come on. 
Oh, nice living room, man. Keep doing, keep doing, keep doing. Now we are going to run two steps, from one step, one step, and jump. Now we go back two steps. One step and jump. We go back two steps, okay? You jump with one leg. One step and jump. You go back. One step and jump. Yes. Excellent. One step and jump. We go back. One step and jump. We go back. One step and jump. We go back two steps. One step and jump. Yes. Excellent. Okay. Let's go to the other side. Last one. To the other side. One step and jump. Oh. Now we go back. One step and jump. Go back. One step and jump. Come on. And jump. One step and jump. Last one. One step and jump. Well done. All right, guys. You can go drink some water now. We're gonna continue our session with uh, Coach Renato. Hi guys. Okay, first thing we gotta do is we're gonna get our racket like a fry pan and just bounce the ball up. Just this. See if you can move a little steps around, not much, but from the left side. And move to the right. Go cross with the left leg, right leg. Keep crossing left leg, right leg, left leg, right leg. Now stand straight, and we're gonna do the same, but we're gonna bounce the ball on the ground, and we cross with the left leg, and we cross with the right leg. And we cross with the left leg. And we cross with the right leg. And we cross with the left leg. And now let's try to do it fast. Good job. We're going to lift the ball and, uh, and, uh, and swing, like we did it before on the previous lessons. Go, swing over your shoulder, 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 Swing over your shoulder. Swing over your shoulder. I'm gonna hold my racket in a shopper grip the same way I will hold a knife or a sword if I was a Japanese samurai. And I'm going to pop the ball and swing under the ball. It's like a slicey motion and you keep the ball straight. Look. So my racket needs to make the ball spin. Watch again, slice, 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 see? This action, your racket needs to do this action, come from back, forward, back, forward. Yeah, and we try to keep the ball steady in front of us. Look. Do it. So the shopper grip is really important so you can really get the wrist doing this action. You can do let it bounce. If you feel that you can control up, you do. If you feel they need some help, you can let it bounce. Let it bounce. Let it bounce. 
Let it bounce. Don't forget, if the ball moves, your footwork also need you need to keep your feet light. So go. Okay, and now we're going to do the same, but we're going to do in our back end. Yes, I saw Keegan. Very well. So we need to shot under the ball. You can do under here, or you can let it bounce. Shop a grip on the back end. So meaning, in this case, my knuckles have to be pointing up to the ceiling, or if you're outside, to the sky. While on the other one, my knuckles are pointing to the ground. This time, we make sure our knuckles pointing up. And you can let it bounce, and you do this. If you feel you can do very well, you can do up in the air without the bounce. Okay, so now we're going to do with the, the knuckles to the ground and the knuckles to the sky. Ground, sky, ground, sky, ground, sky. So we need to flip our racket. You hit one with your knuckles down and one of your knuckles up. Yes, Sasa, good job. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 7, ah, almost. Start again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, Sapa and Kick and a 9, 10. Do it again, more kicks and Sapa. 10. You did it. I know you won. Got it. Good. Keep practicing. Slice under the ball. Slice under the ball. Now, we're going to use our body. So we're going to do this way. We're going to slice the ball. Slice, jump to the side. Bounce, jump front. You can let it bounce if you want to begin. Side, front, side, front. Side, front. If I start front on, we chop a grip, I will do front, jump side, side, jump front, front, jump side, side, jump front, front, jump side, front, side, front, side, front, side. side. Righty. Good job. If you did it successful, we can try on the backhand side. Jump, front, jump, side, 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 front, side. Because one of the most important things at the net, you be light on your feet so you can turn or if you don't have time to turn, you still can do it. But light on your feet is very important. So let's try to do from the left side, meaning knuckles up. Going to finish off here the third segment with some volleys, shadow hitting with footwork. Okay, a bit like we did last time. Last time we did some 
uh, regular volleys and some wide volleys. Today we're going to do some high and low volleys as well. Okay, so we're going to start off with our two markers here. I've got a I've got two markers. It can be anything. I've got a water bottle and a, and a toy teddy here. Okay, you can use whatever whatever markers you have. And then we are going to start behind this one marker on the far left side, back on your backhand side, backhand side of the court. And then we're going to run across and do a forehand volley behind the second marker. Okay, then back to the beginning. Okay, forward and across, running forwards behind the first marker and forehand volley and back. Okay, so remembering we're using the chopper grip and we're opening the racket face. Okay, and just giving a little catching motion. It's like you're catching the ball on your strings. Okay, forward and across, catch and back. Let's just do 10 of those. Here we go. One. Two, three. Come on. Come on, Saba. Come on, Keegan. Five. Come on, Tay. Six. Seven. Use Dash and Wally. It should be sideways. Nine. Ten. Okay, well done. So you can see there I'm sideways all the time here. Now normally when you're at the net, a lot of the time you're not going to be sideways, you're going to be facing forward with the right position because you don't know which side the ball's coming to. Okay, so the one time that you might be already facing that way is if maybe you're right over on the backhand side of the net because the other person hit a shot here. And then you're running back towards the middle of the court, towards the middle of the net. So you're already sideways. And you know you're going to get a forehand volley because that's the only side they can hit to because you're coming from the side of the court. Okay? So now we'll do the same on the backhand. So we'll pretend that our opponent has just hit us a wide forehand volley over here. And so now we have got to run back to the middle to get the backhand volley that we know is coming because we're going to hit the ball into the open court where I'm not standing, or try to at least. So I'm going to run. And remember on our backhand volley, we've got the left hand on the throat of the racket. And then I'm going to let go and hands apart and catch. And back and go and step and catch. See, I'm stepping with my front foot each time. So my right foot on the back end, when I do the forehand, it's usually going to be my left foot. Catch, back, and go, and catch, back, and go, catch, back, do five more, catch, four more, where the left hand goes back to balance me so that my shoulders stay sideways so I don't go like this. So two more. And last one. Okay, well done. So now we're going to go from the ready position. So I'm going to go in the middle. Okay. And I'm going to get no. in the ready position. And what? then I'm going to move my arms hmm. a little bit wider. So I've got a bit of room to, more room to maneuver. Turn, I'm going to step, and then I'm going to step again, and I've got to try to finish with my left foot in front, so I'm going to step again, and catch, and then back, front on to the middle, okay, let's do a back end this time, turn, step, 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 catch, okay, back to the middle, 
Now I'm taking, I could, I could reach to that marker in probably one step if I really wanted to, right? But what I wouldn't be able to do is be nice and balanced with my feet, just a bit shoulder width apart and nice and balanced like this when I go to hit the shot. I wouldn't be able to do that if I took one step. So I'm taking three little steps to end up in a nice position with my left foot in front like that. Okay, so let's go for, we'll go for, uh, go for 16 shots, so eight to each side. Okay, let's go turn, little steps, ending up with the left foot in front, back to the middle. Turn, little steps, right foot in front, back to the middle. Turn, left, catch, catch. Catch on the back end. I think we're about halfway through there now. Okay, look at my feet when I go back to the ready position. Last a little step because I've got to have a good ready position too, right? All your shoulders. Okay, let's go two more. Good. All right, well done. So you can see I'm almost like, almost like dancing there with your footwork, lots of little steps. Okay, that's why good dancers, you see them take lots of little steps, right? They're not taking big, heavy, giant kind of steps. It's little steps and that's what we need for tennis as well. So now we're going to practice a similar thing, but the ball coming straight to us. Uh, straight to us where, not straight at us, but just next to us where we just have to turn and hit. Just have to turn and hit. So like this, turn and hit. Ready, turn and hit. Okay, so uh, we'll start with uh, forehand. I'm going to do the mirror image to you. So I'm going to face you this time, but I'm going to do a mirror image. Okay. So, everybody ready? We're going to do it together. So just standing, facing me, and then you're going to turn and catch. Ready position. Turn and catch. Ready position. Turn and catch. Let's go. Ten shots. Ready? One. Good thing. Six. Don't go too much seven, behind, Kane. Just, just a little eight, bit. Yeah. Nine, Less ten. than that. Less than that. Okay. And see if I turn to the side. Look how I'm positioned. Look at the contact point. That's how far in front I'm hitting. Just in front. I've only moved the racket from here to catch it just in front. And I've still got bend in my elbow. Okay. Good. And now the back end. Okay, so the back end. I'm going to have a throw it on the racket. I'm going to turn to the side and catch. No. If I do it, uh, okay. if I'm doing this way so you can see my uh, side on view. I'm going to turn and catch from here to there. Like this. There. Okay. Ten of those, let's go, ready, and go. So just turning on the spot where I'm standing. The racket face should be slightly open when I catch so that the ball easily goes over the net without having to swing at it. If I close the racket face or make the racket face flat like that, or that, I'm gonna have to swing very hard Try to make it go over the neck. Okay, let's do three more. One. And by the opposite hand, the left hand goes back for right handers. For balance. Okay. Good job. 
So just see how my feet ended up there after I hit the shot. I'm collapsing that back leg. All right, so that the weight is more on my front foot. That back, back leg is just there for balance. So now we're gonna go for some low volleys. So this is where the knee bend gets really important. Okay, so for the low volley, we're gonna go set up just up here. We're gonna go take a, a bit of a bigger step than normal so that we can get down low without bending our back too much. Okay, if I took a little step, a normal step, and then the ball was low, it's gonna be difficult for me to get down low with my knees so close together. So I'm gonna take a bigger step. Okay, and get down low and catch just above the marker by my teddy here, okay? So that's like a low, wide ball. So let's go for 10 of those. So turn, lunge, down, catch, down low. One, lunge, catch, two, and back up again. Lunge and catch, three. Lunge, catch, four. Lunge and catch, five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And okay, well done. And let's go for the backhand. Lunge and catch, ready. One. Big lunge. Two. Let's go with the left hand as you go to catch. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten. You know, when it comes straight at you, I still want to keep my, I'm still going to have to keep my legs apart, right, to get down low. So what am I going to do? I can't lunge across, or the ball's going to either hit me or go behind me. So I'm going to adjust my footwork a bit. So it comes, okay, it's coming towards me, straight at me, and it's also low. Gonna come down here somewhere, right? So I it's gonna drop at my feet, and maybe I don't, I don't want it to let it bounce. I want to take it out of the air. So I'm going to instead of stepping across, I'm gonna step away. So I'm stepping forward and away from my forehand, so that I can catch the ball here. Okay, so I'm stepping forward and away. Let's see where my racket is. My racket is low and in front of where I was standing in the ready position. Okay. So that ball that's coming pretty much straight at me and low. And let's do eight of those. Ready? Go. One. I'm using the left hand for balance. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. All right, good. And let's go for the backhand now. So low backhand volley that's coming straight at me. I'm going to turn my shoulders and then step. Yeah, in front and away slightly. So instead of across, going away, stepping towards. My forehand side a little bit, catching down low. Okay, let's do eight. It's five one. So really make sure you turn the shoulders though before you step. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And use that left hand for balance. Five, going in the opposite direction of your racket. So my racket's going down low. My Opposite arm is going up and back. Bracket low and forward. Opposite hand up and back. To balance out and keep my shoulders side on and steady. Last one. All right, well done. All right, last exercise. 
We're going to go forehand, backhand. So I'm going to call out what shots we're going to do. So we're going to start off with a regular forehand volley going across here. And Good. then a Good. regular backhand volley. And then a wide low forehand and then a wide low backhand. That's a wide low forehand, wide low backhand. Okay. And we'll do that just two times through. Okay. So just eight shots. So regular forehand volley where we're going to run across and volley. The forehand and the backhand. And then the one where we're going to lunge with one big step. And then we do it again. Let's do it 12 times. Three sets. Ready? Last five. Let's do it nice and uh, properly, as hard as you can. This time, we use those leg muscles. Last exercise. Okay, so run across, little step. Volley, nice and balanced. Run across, backhand volley. Okay, and the low lunging one to the side. Low lunging one for the backhand side. And up. And let's go to the second set. Run across. Volley. Ready? Run across. Volley. Ready? Lunge. Low volley. Up. Ready? Lunge. Low volley. Up. Run across. Easy. Volley. Run across. Easy backhand volley. Ready? Lunge. Low volley. And lunge. Low backhand volley. Okay, well done. So you can come up to the camera. Well done, guys. So you can practice those shots during the week. Um, a lot of it is to do with your legs, right? The, the, the hits is very simple, very simple technique, just a catching technique. Like you're catching, trying to catch something on your racket. Imagine this is a this is like a fishing net instead of strings, you got a fishing net in here and you just want to catch that ball inside. So a simple technique, but it's about positioning your body in the right place so that you have the best chance of catching it right in the middle of that racket to control it. Uh, and so you can do combinations like we just did. I just started really doing the combinations of the regular volley uh, and the low volley. I can add in there the low volley that's straight at me. I can add in the one we did the other day of the regular volley that's straight at me where I'm turning back and away. Okay, this one where I'm going back and away on the forehand, back and away on the backhand. So the ball is straight at me at a normal height. Uh, and then we didn't uh, really get to high volleys as well where I could add in, add in a high volley where I'm just up here and catching and up here and catching as well. Okay, so you can could mix in six or eight different shots there and do a few rotations, a few sets like that. Okay, so we'll see you guys on uh, Thursday for the uh, live Instagram session. Um, I can join. At uh, 4.30 for you guys, for the, just the half hour live Instagram session. And uh, for the older, older juniors, we've got the uh, cardio tomorrow night. Okay, well done. We will see you next session.